Very good evening, everyone. Welcome to Platform 94. Tonight, we bring you the draws for the Connacht Junior and Senior Schools Cups. I don't need to tell you how big a competition this is. Both are, in fact, dare I say it, all six of them. Because over the past number of years, we've seen what has been just simply a Junior and Senior Cup grow. And that's down to the work of the teachers, the coaches, and the players themselves and their clubs to get involved with their schools and to take part in competitive action regarding Connacht Rugby. The Connacht Schools Cups are special, they're unique. There's something that nobody can really experience unless they have experienced it. And for all of the teams and their coaches and the players right now, this is going to be a rather nervy time because they will know over the next while what teams they're going to be playing in their groups and in their pools for those respective competitions. I'm delighted to be joined by the chair of Connacht Schools, Jean McConnell. Jean, good to see you. Great to see you, John. It's been a while. It has indeed. Um, can we talk about the importance of the Schools Cups? I can't even. I, I was never fortunate enough to play in a Schools Cup, but I know the people who did and their memories that they bring with them to you know, adulthood and beyond. Absolutely. Well, I'm in the same boat as you. I've never played in a, in a Schools Cup either, but um, I was involved in uh, coaching a, a team that got to the, won the final of the Development Cup uh, many years ago. And I, I still meet those, those lads today. And when they were getting married, one of them actually sent me a photo of the three front rows in, on his wedding day. So that's what it meant to them. And that was many moons ago. So I can only imagine in, now there's three cups mm. to play for that it, it makes memories and it makes history as well. So. And, you know, St. Tractors is your school. Um, for them to win a development cup like that was an incredibly big deal at the time because for a school that would have been rather new to the game, to go and do something like that it meant an awful lot and of course it also helped as well, as well regarding the development of the game in Sligo it did well it is a brand new school so we just amalgamated and it was the very first silverware conic silverware won by the school and it would be a fantastic Gaelic school um, but that uh, it did develop um, rugby in the school and then they went on to play with Sligo Rugby Club as well and um, one of them went on to be a professional rugby player so um, that's that's what rugby can do and it just uh, opens up I think it opens up so many doors it really does yeah. and that's so special about the school's cups and we're talking about the juniors and we're going to be doing the draw for the junior cups a b and c yes and you know this is the, the start for many of these players it's their development we mentioned development it's a big word but it's a word that really is prevalent in this day and age with these competitions because we are talking about players developing and they will develop into senior players as time moves on and who knows like you mentioned it's Sligo. you know go play with Sligo go play professionally possibly or play a very strong role with whatever club you come from this is yeah. what that's about uh, absolutely and it's not it's not just obviously about playing the game it's what they bring to it themselves as a, as a team and then developing together but um, they can take so much out of playing together for a cup at the end you have something tangible you have all those photos and all those videos as well and that's what um, it's the development of the game but it's it's something tangible at the end as well there mm. and for. I want to mention because we have to mention the final day I mean finals day is so special it's a fantastic atmosphere you know the, the crowd all you know flock to the clan terrace there's a brilliant noise out of it uh, it's just a fantastic atmosphere for the, the schools but also for their parents and their friends as well because you see a real party atmosphere and a really it's an amazing atmosphere these schools cup finals yes absolutely I mean so many schools games obviously play during school time that parents don't necessarily get to, to see them but on the finals day that's it when it all comes together and you're you bring the grannies and the neighbours and, and it is it's, it's community it's um, coming up together for or an incredible atmosphere and something that the, the finalists will remember for the rest of their lives. And uh, having been fortunate to have been in the sports ground for schools cup finals, the noise is just something else. It is absolutely amazing. And we, you know, we, we, we do wish all the schools the absolutely, very, very best of luck absolutely. because it all starts now. The draw really all starts yes. now. We have, in fact, the cup. This is the Junior A Cup. It's blooming heavy, I can tell you. But this is what the A teams will be playing for uh, as there are six competitions to be fair we couldn't have all three cups out because there wouldn't be room for them but we're now going to have the draw for the Junior C Schools Cup I'm going to give you a rundown on the format to start off and that is quite simple there are four pools of four we have got top seeds and bottom seeds now what we're going to do is we're going to drop and draw now the four top seeds for each of the respective pools after that we're going to draw the four bottom seeds and once that's done, 
we then draw A, B, C, D and in that order. So Jean, if you would get the top seeds and please put them into the uh, into the there cup. Now just to mention the top seeds by the way, you've got Carrick CS, you've got Jesus and Mary in a scrown, uh, Claren College and Calas Sanchez College in Oran Moore. So if you would draw the first team, this is the first top seed and the first team that is a top seed is, is Carrick Community School. So Carrick Community School will be in Pool A as the top seed. Second up, this is the top seed in Pool B. Calas Sanchez College. So Calas Sanchez. Okay, on to Pool C. Jesus and Mary Enniscrown. Jesus and Mary Enniscrown. And Pool D. Merlin College. Merlin College. And Kalash the on Ireland, of course, done very well in recent years. In fact, not too bad as a soccer team either. Won under 15 yeah, title recently. Now we're going to move on to the bottom seeds. So if you would draw the first team, that would be the bottom seed in Pool A. Kalash the Karaba. So Kalash and the Kerba. And to the second. St. Gerald's College. St. Gerald's College of St. Gerald's College Castlebar. Abbey Community College. Abbey Community College, they go into Pool C. And the St. Paul's Uthrard. And St. Paul's Uthrard will be in Group D. Well, okay, well, St. Paul's won't have too far to go for one of their games in that particular group. <laughs> now, if you would draw the, and if I may, before you do that, I'm just going to give you the names of the teams that are to go into the four respective pools. You've got St. Mary's Baligar, and I'll hand them each to you. Maris College, Portumna Community School. You've got Kalashta Huron at Lone, Claren College at the Rye. Santa Maria College in Lewisburg and Clifton Community School. They are them. So the first team that we're now going to draw will go into Pool A alongside Carrick Community School and Colosh the Caravan. They are? Colosh the Huron, Athlon. So Colosh the Huron. So they will go in, Firehead. Second team in this will go into Pool B. Claren College, Athlon Rye. So Claren College are going in Pool B. Pool C. Santa Maria College. So that's Santa Maria College in Lewisburg. And Pool D. Clifton Community School. So Clifton are going into Pool D. So we have an old Galway pool so far uh, with uh, Maryland College, Clifton and St. Paul. That'll Luke be interesting. Right. And we have four teams to draw out for Pool C, for the Junior C Cup. And those four teams in Pool A will Marist be. Marist College. So Marist at Lawn. Okay, and Pool B. Portumna Community School. Portumna. So poor St. Gerald's of the odd one out in that one. Ah. And St. Mary's Ballygar. St. Mary's Ballygar. So we do have an old Galway pool, in fact, in Pool D. Let's recap. Um, or am I mi are we missing one? I'm just having a look to see. No, we're not missing anybody. Okay. Um, I am seeing Carrick Community School, Clash de Kieran Athlone, Maris College Athlone, and uh, Clash de Kerba and Pool A. Pool B, Callas Sanchez College, Portumna, Clarence College, and St. Gerald's. Pool C, Jesus and Mary Innescrone, St. Maria's Lewisburg and Abbey Community School. Pool D, Merlin College, Clifton Community School, St. Mary's Ballygar, and St. Paul's Oak Art. They are our four pools for the uh, uh, they're the four pools for the Junior C Cup. So we will move on to Junior B. Now, it's, uh, as there is only four pools in, in Junior C, the others are two pools of four. So it's it's not so bad. So if we will move these away and get them out of the way, and we get the uh, we get the teams for Junior B. Thank you. And what I'll do is I'll just drop these over here, if I may. Thank you. So again, the situation as regards top seeds, bottom seeds, and we have top seeds in St. Murdoch's College, Colosh de Balia Clare, they're the top seeds, and the bottom seeds are Presat and Ryan Athlone Community College. Again, we'll be drawing top seed, bottom seeds, and then we will be filling the blanks. So uh, if we go again with the top seeds. Well, there we go, two. Only two. Only two. So in Pool A is? St. Murdoch's College. St. Murdoch's Balana. Yes. And Pool B. And Colosh de Balia Clare. So it's Kalash de Balia Clare. Okay, now we go to the bottom. And again, only two teams in this. So St. Murdoch's will be facing. Athlone Community College. Athlone Community College. And the bottom team in Pooh B. Presentation College, Athenry. 
Okay, so we now have the teams that are left, and if I may just to tell you again what these are, they are Gort Community School, St. Charlotte's College Chew, Dunmore Community School, St. Rafael's College Loch Ray, and Caloyte Aenia Salt Hill. So, if we will go, and the first, first one out is Caloyte Aenia Salt Hill. So Caloyte Aenia are in Pool A, and the second team in Pool B? St. Raphael's Loch Ray. St. Raphael's Loch Ray. And our next team in Pool A? St. Charlotte's Tum. St. Charlotte's, and finally? Gort Community School. And then Gort. Are the second team, are the, shall I say the fourth team in Pool B. And is there one, there's one more that will go, and that's Dunmore Community Dunmore School. Dunmore Community School. So Dunmore Community School will go into Pool A. So you're going to have a five and a four. Yeah. Um, for that. Uh, so our our five teams are in Pool A: Saint Muirdix, Clyde Aynes, Saint Gerald's College, Tum, uh, at Long Community College, and Dunmore Community School. Saint Gerald's and Dunmore local derby. Uh, and in Pool B, you've got Clyde the Ballya Clare, uh, Saint Rafael's College, Lockway, Cork Community School, and Presentation College, Athen Rye. They are the draws for the Junior Bs, and we're now moving on to Junior A. Right. So if we'll hand them over again and hand them back. And while we're doing that, I can tell you that the teams, the top seeds in Junior A are Maris College and Sligo Grammar. And the bottom seeds uh, are Garbally and the Bish, which is, uh, you know, two phenomenal schools with a great history when it comes to, to schools rugby. So Absolutely. this will be a fascinating, this could be a fascinating one. It if, will. if you would put the top seeds in again, okay. please, Jane. So the top seed in pool A, remember it's just two pools. First one out, Marist College. So Marist will be the first team in Pool A, the Junior A Cup. And Sligo Grammar School. And Sligo Grammar. I better say hello to my old mucker, Jimmy Gavin, while I'm at it. Uh, Indeed. Uh, <laughs> now we'll move to the, the bottom in Pool A. I mention his name every time we do the draw. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Garbley College. So Garbley are the bottom. I better just put that uh, there so I don't lose my train. And St. Joseph's the and, Bish. And St. Joseph's the Bish. Right, we have our top and bottom seeds. So our teams that are remaining in this, and I, there are three of them. You've got Colosh Dignodge, of course, the Jez, uh, Summerhill College, and Roscommon CBS. Roscommon CBS, of course, made up a fair majority of Craig's players at underage level. Summerhill College. Summerhill. So Summerhill are in Pool A. And in Pool B? Colosh de Ignodge. Colosh de Ignodge. So we have one team left, and that will go into Pool A, and that's Roscommon CBS. Roscommon CBS, correct. So we have our pools for the Senior Cup, or the Junior Cup, beg your pardon, for 2024. Uh, and the Junior A Cup, the teams are Maris College, uh, you've got Summerhill, Roscommon CBS, and Garbally. And in Pool B, Sligo Grammar, Colosh de Ignodge, and St. Joseph's de Bish. We're going to have some very, very interesting... I'm really nervous myself, actually, reading out that list. <laughs> That's yeah. an incredible list, and it's Isn't an incredible it? list of games to look yeah. forward to. Absolutely. And Absolutely. Can, can you... Uh, when schools, and from, say, a team you've coached, or from that perspective, they now know the opposition. So now they have to try and kind of... There may have been games they would have faced each other in the league, so there's a little bit of maybe a little needle coming into all of this. Right. And it's the cup. This is the fun part now. Yeah, it is. And I, I look at you can do an awful lot of analysis of we played them the last time, but then you mightn't have had key players. I think it's just you go out and you give it everything on the day and you play to your strengths and leave it all on the pitch. You know, there's nothing more you can do. And I know every team will, will do that, give it 100%. Absolutely. Now, just to mention, by the way, the draws will be up in full on the Connors Rugby website as well in due course if you want to have another look at them again. But to each and every one of the schools who wish you the very, very best of luck, it's going to be a fascinating number of weeks between now and finals day and to each team as we always say wish you all the very very best of luck to your team your coaches your players and of course your supporters because without you you know it just wouldn't be rugby without them so Jean, thank you very much thank indeed. you very much Sean. and uh, thank you indeed for for watching when we come back we're going to be talking the senior cup and i can tell you already even though the draw hasn't been made yet i'm already excited we'll be back in a while